Have you ever wondered why some people have this awesome pin it button on their blog post images and your blog doesn't have it? Well, if you are using WordPress with Thrive Themes, today I'm gonna show you a way to add the pin it button to your blog posts that's super duper easy and the code isn't gonna disappear. And if you've ever tried to add this code directly into your blog post, you might've noticed that it worked and then now it doesn't. Well, if you are switching back and forth on your blog post from your visual uh, tab on your blog post editor to the text tab, pasting this code in and then switching back to visual, everything disappears. And if you're a little bit confused right now, that's okay because you're like, I don't know what these what she's talking about, we're gonna start from the beginning. So in order to get this button to show up on your images on Pinterest, you need to go to the widget builder and you're gonna use the save button builder uh, tool within this widget builder. So widget builder can allow you to do all kinds of things like embed a follow button on your blog post, feature a certain board, etc. But we wanna make sure that the save button option here is selected. I'm gonna put a link down to the widget builder in the description of this video so that you can easily access it. Now, uh, there's a couple different ways that you can have this image builder or this widget builder build your save button. Um, you can choose a different button types. I like to choose image hover. And the reason for that is when somebody hovers their mouse over the image, that little button comes up. The flashing motion of that helps communicate that, hey, there's a call to action here. And so I want people to hover over this and go, oh yeah, I wanna save it. Now there's a couple different designs for this button. You can click on round, which is just the little Pinterest logo. I don't like to assume that everybody knows what that is. So um, I'm gonna uncheck round and we get the little pin button that says save. I, most people understand the word save. So I wanna make sure that that is on there. Also, you can see the size of this button. We can choose to make it bigger. So I like the larger button because it's like, hey, save this thing. <laughs> I want people to know that they should save it on Pinterest because that is where I get a lot of traffic on my blogs. So once you've selected all of the options here for customizing your button, this script is gonna appear down at the bottom. All you gotta do is click on it, copy it, whether that's Control C or Command C, depending on what uh, operating system you're using. Head over to your blog post, it's so easy, and you're gonna go into body scripts, and this is for if you are using Thrive themes. So if you're using a different theme, this might look different, but somewhere down here underneath your video, I'm just underneath your video, somewhere down here underneath your Yoast SEO tab is going to be a section where uh, you may have the option to add header scripts and body scripts to your blog post. Now this is with Thrive themes, I also have a video on how to do this if you are using Genesis. So I put a link to that down in the description. So if you are using Genesis, you can click over and check out that video. Once you have that pasted there, that's it. That's all you have to do. So this blog post is a draft. So I don't have any images in here, but let's insert an image so that we can test this out. So I'm just gonna put this uh, image here, even though that doesn't have anything to do with this really click save draft and I'm going to go over to preview so that we can test this out. Now the thing is you do need to do this to every single blog post. So um, if you have a lot of blog posts, you might want to hire a VA to come and do this for you. All right. So here's our draft blog post. I'm going to just hover over this image and you can see that right there, the pin it button shows up, but let's make sure it works. So I'm going to click on it and it should pull my title for my blog post from my meta description, and it does. Here's the title, it has my blog name there, et cetera. Now, there is a way that you can customize this description that it's gonna pull from your pinnable images using some code, and this would be on the individual image in your blog post. And you can also make sure that it adds hashtags too, which is super cool. I have a link in this video to that video because that's a whole nother ball of wax, but I show you step-by-step how you can customize that description that pulls up when people are clicking this pin it button. Now, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. And if you thought that this video was helpful, I would love it if you shared it with a friend. And if you like videos like this that will help you in your business, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you around.